Last week on The Cry. I did my daughter try and steal a baby. This is ridiculous. I've done nothing. nothing. To save a life. Nurse has found some bruising on Helena. Meg Bartlett has gone on the run. What are you trying to do? Trap them? Using the baby as bait? With somebody else's child. You're not well, Mrs. Bartlett. I am perfectly well, thank you. But why did she run? You saw Christine Reardon trying to resuscitate her child. No! She was smothering her! Can she be trusted? The baby wasn't choking. I lied. I lied. Has she lost her mind? You hear her, you see her, you what's going on? Tell me, go on, tell me. I feel as I'm going mad. And I therefore reject the application for custody of Eleanor Stephanie Reardon. And I direct Mrs. Bartlett will have no further connection with the case. She is not your child. So, the baby's not back with you yet? No, no, she's still in the hospital. Yeah, it's just four malators, you know. But we're nearly there, aren't we? Yeah, we'll be taking her home in uh, two hours and nine minutes. Can you fax me at home with Christine Reardon's file? I thought we would have nothing more to do with it. That's right, but I have to close it. Where are you? At the hospital. I don't want to come back into the office to sign it off. OK. Thanks, Carol. Can I leave her for a second? She, she's fine. Pounds. Did you order this, Mrs. Bartlett? Uh, no, sorry, it's an, an unexpected. Well, I won't keep you a moment. Actually, I'm on a... Mostly 50s, I'm afraid. It's all right. You don't have to bother. Are you going away, Mrs. Bartlett? Yes, I am. Well, after what you've been through, I hope you have a really nice time. feel now about the social worker? She should be on trial. Well, I don't agree with that. Yeah, but she was using the system. You know, it's appalling that they can just take away our baby like that. You know, I, I, I have never felt so powerless. You don't agree with that, Christine? Well, just when you know her, you know, when you know what she's been through. You know, I tried to talk to her after the trial, but um, it's no good. Uh -huh. So, what are you going to do now? Well, we're going to get her a new little outfit. Yeah, and then we're going to go and collect her. That's marvellous. There really is good news. 
I really am very happy for you. I do wish you both Thank the you. very best. Thank you. I dropped everything as soon as I heard. You look shell shocked, and what happened? I'll get you a cup. I had to do it, Simon. Whose baby is it? Meg, you can't just take someone else's baby. I saw this coming. I should have got you to a doctor. It's my fault. Nothing wrong with me. I know exactly what I'm doing. Meg, the court heard your case, Meg. They were wrong. Right or wrong, you cannot take the law into your own hands. Simon, she was smothering her! Even if you are right, you can only hide for a day, a week. I mean, what good will that do? I'm going to prove it. Prove it how? You're persuading yourself that she's at risk. She is at risk! But that's not why you're taking her, is it? Look, I understand. Anyone will understand. But you must take her back to her mother. But I saw what she did to her. You're not protecting her. You're stealing her, Meg. Let me pass. Look, you're not responsible for your actions. You're for the first time in my life, Simon, I am responsible for my actions. Meg, if you leave with her, I'll have to call the police. You do understand that? Can you hear me, Meg? If you leave with her, I'll have to call the... Police, please. Wonderful news. How is she? Oh, I've only just come back on duty. Look what I've got for her. Oh, it's really sweet. <laughs> Mel, Christine's here to collect Eleanor. to stop her. What, by force? She's not mad. How else would you describe it? Disturbed. She prepared a strong case against the Reardons. She only lost because the defense got hold of some evidence. It showed she was seeing things that weren't there. And where did they get that from? 
Christine Rudin. No. The only people who knew about that were you and me. Good thing the defense did know, Simon. Otherwise, a child would have been quite wrongly taken into care. She says that she can prove the child is at risk. She, um, she took a, took a fax. Christine Redden's records. If she contacts you... I'll phone the police, you course. phone me, Mark will give you the direct line. temp jobs because there are two years of your mum's life Elena we know nothing about <laughs> Rosnia your mum was 16 living at home pound to a penny her childcare jobs were on the bus route leg work now Elena shoe leather with me then Please. 
Annie Lomax. Mrs. Richardson's let me have the cottage. Oh, hello. I'm Mrs. Taylor. I'll look after it for her. She didn't tell me anyone was coming. It was a bit last minute before she flew off to Florence. Oh, I'd have had it all ready for you if I'd known. Oh, no, please don't worry. It, it's... It's no worry. Have you found everything? I'll give you the guided tour. No, it's all right. I've found everything. Thank you. <laughs> I'd better show you the boiler. It can be a devil if you don't know it. There's a switch here. Forget the timer or you're really in trouble. And that's the hot water. Got it? Yes, I see. Thank you. Thanks very much. Well, give us a ring if there's out else. Yes, I will. Thanks very much indeed. <laughs> Better give you my phone number. <sighs> right. No, I didn't know you had a baby. Oh. Oh, you're a delicious little bundle, aren't you? What's the name? Sophie. Oh. All on your own, are you? Well, as good as. My husband's upstairs. Steve's a writer. Oh. Shuts himself off. That's why I might have been a little bit unwelcoming. Oh, I see. A writer. Ooh, mustn't disturb your dad then. <laughs> if you want me to take her for an afternoon, just give us a ring. I have an idea we might get on, don't you? Shh, 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 shh. That'll work. Ta ta. Remember, if you want anything, just give us a ring. Ta ta. So, Christine Prescott never worked for you? No, good job I checked then, thank you. Hello, not the nannies. Yes, I'm checking the references of a Christine Prescott who's applied to be a nanny for my children. Uh, she says she used to work for you between 1989 and 1991. Well, she did. No, that's great. Um, would it be possible to come and see you today? This afternoon, then, about one. Thank you. Hello, love. Hi, Mum. Any news? No, not since they found the car. They'll find her, love. They're bound to find her. They're nice. I thought they'd be finished by now. They're the last. Pity to pick them. She needs a bit of space. She's barely holding herself together. Tea or a, a glass of wine? It's a bit early for me. Glad you came. Yeah, well, we needed to get away. Given the police your number. Earlier today, Home Secretary Richard Crossdyke made this plea. Meg, I know you've been through a terrible time and unlocked yourself, but you, of all people, must realise that this baby has a, a serious illness and, and must be in richer medical care. There is nothing wrong with her. Turn she suffers irreparable harm. Come on, Meg. I'm waiting for your call. Hello? Eleanor? Hey, shh. Okay. Shh, 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 shh. You see, there's nothing wrong with you, darling, is there? Hmm? Nothing at all.
you'd like to leave a message, please speak after the long beat. Meg Dine, where are you? You were called today at 0957. The caller will help you out. Hello? Richard, it's Simon. She may have just called me. Ma'am? Well, she wouldn't speak. But I heard the baby crying. She, um, she withheld the number. Well, then we can't trace the call. Well, I've tried all her friends. Nothing. I just don't know what else to do. Well, the police are checking guest houses and hotels. But, and Simon, she must have a bolt hole somewhere. Mrs. Lomax, let's not tell anyone she's here. I'm not a registered child and some very nosy people about, you know what I mean? Won't mention it to anyone. Bye. Yes. Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> now, I remembered her after you'd phoned. I asked my sister to look up the story in the Warrington Evening Post. Angela! Have you got the story for Mrs. Lomax? I'm sure you'd have found it in your own paper if you'd looked back far enough. Sorry? Oh, come on, Mrs. Lomax. I wasn't born yesterday. You're a reporter, aren't you? I don't know what you're after, but Christine, she was a little bit of a heroine, was Christine. Saved a child's life. Will you excuse me a moment? I have to deal with this. I'll put it in an envelope for you. Mrs. Taylor, it's, um... Hey, you. It's Mummy. Are you all right, Mrs. Lomax? Hello? I'm fine. How's Eleanor? Sophie. H how is she? Well, I'm glad you phoned. She's got a bit of a cold. You're not a very happy bunny, how you darling? She's been coughing. Will you get something for her? I don't like to give her anything myself. Just don't leave her, will you? Um, oh, of course I won't. Even if she's asleep. 
particularly then. Does she have bad chests? One of mine was terrible. Yeah, you must um, keep an eye on her at all times. Shall I call the doctor? No, it's all right. Well, if you're that worried, Mrs. Lomax. No, wait till I get back. All right, bye. Oh, 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 now, now, now. Oh, I don't know what to do for the best, love. I really don't. I wonder if I should call the doctor. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I couldn't get away. I'll have to go. Don't you want to know about Christine, Mrs. Bartlett? Is your sister phoning the police? Sandra, no. She really believes you're a reporter. Have you? No. Why? Because Christine should have been stopped years ago. Well, according to this, she uh, saved a little girl's life. That's true. I think that's when it started. Would you like to order some drinks? Um, I don't really drink apart from a sherry at Christmas. I can pretend it's Christmas. A Montelado, please. Schooner, thank you. You are. You said that's when it started. I think Christine had never known the attention that was showered on her when she saved that child. Everyone thought she was wonderful. Except you. Including me. Perhaps she wished that life could always be like that. Who knows? So when did I first notice it? <sighs> we seemed to be dealing with more children that were ill, and they got worse. Or at least they didn't get better. And... One day, I was looking at the sick list, and I noticed that every child on it was being looked after by Christine. There you go. Thank you. Of course, they're all ill, Sandra said. Christine's so good with them that parents with sick children ask for her all the time. I felt such a fool. But of course, that was right. Then David had asthma. Christine was looking after him when I called unexpectedly. He was having a spasm, gasping, and she was just looking. When she saw me, she picked up the inhaler and he recovered quite quickly. It was an instant that she said she couldn't find the inhaler, and I believed her. But all the same, um, two weeks later, Christine was looking after David, and he had another attack and died. There was an inquiry. I wanted to tell them what I'd seen. Are you mad, Sandra said. We'll lose our license. I'm not hiding behind Sandra. The agency has been our life. But all the time in the background. So that's why when we read about Christine in the paper, Sandra was expecting a reporter. But I was expecting you. Of course, she's run off with the baby, Sandra said. But I knew you weren't like that. Did you? You have integrity. 
You're like I wish I'd been. Maybe you just got it into your head that Christine was holding children and you saw what you wanted to see. No. No. When I read in the paper about what you saw Christine do, I knew I had been right. <laughs> and... I didn't see her. I saw what I wanted to see. And she gave me her baby to look after and she's become my baby. My baby. And she's ill. Do you know what happened to Christine's first baby? <laughs> when she left the agency, she was pregnant. That's what she said. But there's no record of it. Did she have it? Um, well, perhaps she miscarried. Or she lied about it to have a dig at me. I won't have to mother any more OPCs, and she said, other people's children. Is it true what you said? You have courage meeting me like this. You have real courage. Do you think so? <laughs> Sandra, I have a heart attack. <laughs> no, no, not courage. More tidy, no. <laughs> the last injection was a real bugger. Chemotherapy. They said I might not make it to Christmas. Well, they were wrong, weren't they? Mrs. Taylor? Max, are you there? Hello. Uh, that's not Mrs. Richardson. No, no, she's away at the moment. I'll look after the place for her. Can you tell me if uh, the cottage is free at the moment? No. There's someone else staying here. Well, I'm sorry to trouble you. I see uh, you've got your hands full.
on in. I'm sorry. I oh, was so worried about her. You know, after what you said. So I took her to your husband. But there was no sign of him. So I phoned Dr. Erskine. Are you all right, Mrs. Lomax? I'll get her back to the cottage. Well, the doctor's here. Oliver C. and L. Mrs. Carstairs at next door. Bit of luck, isn't it? What is it? She looks better. Aye, I know, but it can be deceptive, love, when it's on the chest. Come on. Come on, you look as if you could do with the doctor yourself. Come on in. Better to be safe than sorry when they're that age, isn't it? Out for the day, is he? Mind your tea, I'll put it here. Mr. Lomax, is he out for the day? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me take her. Come on, I'll take her. Come on, then, precious. Yes, I know. Oh, there, 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 there. Had a quarrel, did you? I knew it. Came up here to sort things out, did you? I've seen it all before, love. Right. I just want to listen to what's going on in there. Mm-hmm. And the other side. Oh, you're a wee little thing, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Sophie was premature, was she? A month. Soothe that bad throat of hers. Are you sure it's nothing serious? She's getting a cold, Mrs. Lomax. If it gets worse and you get worried, call the surgery tomorrow. Who's your GP? Uh, Dr. Collins. Chartwell Health Centre. London. SW22. Hmm. Well, I'll get in touch with him. Dr. Collins can have a look at her when you get back home. She's your mummy. And if I'm right, let me forgive myself. I said that we'd meet that journalist in Rossmere today. More of them. Market day. You used to love the market. Come on, Christine. Do you good. I want to be out in the fresh air. Yeah, all right, then. But you will be here later, won't you, in case anyone calls. Don't you worry. Come on, sweetheart. It's lovely. Hmm? Can I have a little sip? Hmm? Yeah. And now you have a little sip. 
Oh, please, Eleanor, I can't be your mummy, darling. I've got to go back to being a wretched social worker. How is she? Oh, bless her. But she won't take a bottle. Won't take a bottle? Woo! Well, we see about that. <laughs> Did you remember a rattle? <laughs> Don't worry. We'll walk down by the back later and get it. See you. Have a nice day. Thanks. Are you going to be a good girl? You're always a good girl for Josie, aren't you? School, it's uh, Jill, isn't it? Jenny. Jenny, so. I'm ever so sorry about what happened. Thank you. Thanks. You can't imagine it. Yeah, it's the not knowing, you know. It's not knowing whether she's alive or. Christine. Yeah. You take care. I'm sure I saw her. But we've got to meet this fella from the local rank. I need to talk to the news. I told you that. But it's a photograph. And every little photograph helps. You know that. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Hey. Come on. We can have lunch after. No. Mum's expecting us at 1.30. We'll have a drink then. A large one if it's one of her casseroles. <laughs> yeah? We will find her. We will. Come on. Hello? 
Hello? Hello? Hello? Doing my house. I'm so 
sorry I was desperate. Uh, Mrs. Prescott? Yes. I've just been interviewing Christine. Oh, my God, not another one. And uh, I wanted to talk to you. Is Annie Lomax? Oh, no, love, sorry. No, out, please. She told me not to speak to anyone but the National Daily News. Out, please. Oh, the news? We've, uh, we, we've beaten her bid. Is it 30,000? We've gone up to 40K. 40,000 pounds. I'm sorry, Miss... Uh... It's Lomax. Lomax? Everybody at that agency loved her. Why did she leave? Why did she leave? Went into nursing, didn't she? She found a true vocation there. Not just with children, you see, but with nursing with little bands. I thought she left because she was pregnant. Who told you that? She did. Christine. You're lying. You're trying to get someone out of me, aren't you? She phoned up to say she'd be late. Half past one. That means two, doesn't it, Glover? What's the point of me cooking? Burnt to buggery. You'll end up with this after all, won't you, Miss Sod? Yeah. Oh, he knows it. Look at him. Every day. Every day. Every day what, Mrs. Prescott? She never said you were coming. Who are you? I told you. Check with Christine if you like. Look, I know how terribly painful this is, but um, if we can tell our readers that she lost one child and now her second's been stolen, well, you can see how much more moving it makes a story. Tragic. And to be perfectly frank, Mrs. Prescott, that's why we're paying so much more money. But if you don't feel you can cooperate... Why ask me if she's already told you? To check. People remember different things. Especially where money's concerned. Money's not for them. It's a trust fund for El... Elna. They'll find Eleanor, won't they? They'll find her. She's, she's, she's not well. You, I keep thinking she's dead. That woman will kill her. Every day, I go down there. Down where, Mrs. Prescott? Paul. Little Paul. No, I'm sorry, I, I... What happened? She'll be here any minute. I want to hear your story. My story. I did see her. Oh, Christine, there's no way that she'd be up here. I'll give Mum a call, I'll turn her on the way. Ah, the signal! We're only going to be a couple of minutes. Lunch will be burnt with any luck. After the agency. She left. She said she wanted to 
find the meaning of life with some trouble. New age people. Well, it didn't last. But she came back with little Paul. We slept up there, Christine's old room. And then, early one morning, there was this terrible scream. I ran in. That's the meaning of life, Mother, she said. It was cold. Clap cold. What did he die of? It was a cock death. He had problems with his breathing. Just like Eleanor. I think I'm worried sick about her. What did the doctor say? I'll bet they want something when they get in after all. Hey, perverse. Aren't they Glover? Phone the police. Where is she? Safe. Where? Phone the police and I'll take you straight to her. Well, did she take her to hospital? Oh, she's seen a doctor. Where? Did she have an attack? She has a cold. Oh, for God's sake, she may need emergency help. Then phone the police and let's just get this whole thing over with. Ian, what did you say to her? Hmm? Well, she said she was a journalist. What did you say to her? Nothing. What is it, Chris? Why did you come here? To see you. No, you're lying. I did see you in the square. You knew we were out. Leave it to the police, Christian. Just wait. What, what did you say to her? Nothing. I kept her talking. Journalist. As soon as she came downstairs. Downstairs? I only slipped out for a minute. She's been through my room. Why are you doing this to us? Christine had a baby before Eleanor. I am trying to find out what happened to him. You're mad. Ask him a friend, She's been through the whole house. Who's this? My little cousin Paul, it was a cock death. You don't like mother. Your mother told me, Christine. What? Why did you stop me from phoning the police? But I'll call them. You're hurting me! I will hurt you if you don't tell me the truth. Is this what you were afraid of? Yes. Yes! I knew she'd try and find something, make something up. She's trying to take Eleanor away from us. I can't take Eleanor away from us! Shut it! If you don't believe that I'd do anything to harm Eleanor... This is what you wanted to talk to me about in the hospital, What did you want to talk to her about in the hospital? You! Your rage is that she asked me if you'd ever harmed Eleanor. Every social worker has Look, to... Look, shut it! Why did you try, try and keep us. this... Look, shut it! Shut it! There's a happy face. <laughs> oh, your mum's early. Oh, oh let's go see mummy. Oh. Is your mummy here?
Her dad's got to. Would you like a cup of tea? Um, thank you, Mrs. Sarah. I think I'd better just get Annie back. You'll think twice before going off like that in the future, won't you? Yes, yes, I, I certainly will. Uh, thank you very much for all your help. Um, have, have you got the baby seat, Judith? Here it is. Thanks, Mrs. Taylor. Bye. Bye. Where are we going? Where do you think? I need to get a few things first. How'd you find me? When I saw the key to Asper Cottage was missing and then Mrs. Taylor was expecting you here. How do I do this, um, belt? Just let me do it. It's not bleeding so much. Look, what I've put on will stop it. You would have killed her. No, I was just trying to scare her for what she's done to us. I'll dress it again before you go to bed. Who is this? Tell me. Don't tear it. Please. There's only those two pictures. Well, if it's only her little cousin, it doesn't matter, does it? Hmm? Tell me. Her little boy. My grandson. My little boy. Who's the father? I didn't tell you because I. I knew, I knew you'd be like this. I, I knew you'd go on and on about it and we'd lose Eleanor. Lose Eleanor? What are you talking about? Well, the family court. I mean, they won't let us keep her when they know about this. But it was a cop death. <laughs> it was a cop death. Look, she'll check all the hospital records. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So, when are the police coming? I don't know. I left it to your father. As soon as I found the key was missing, I found it. And then this morning, I, I just had to know what was happening, so I drove up here and the door was open and Mrs. Taylor came out with the baby. Why didn't you tell her who you are? I don't know. I don't know what your father's doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I couldn't get a word in edgeways with Mrs. Taylor. I've just come for a rattle, she said. Oh, you must be Annie's husband, Steve, she said. Oh, I've heard all about you. 
Here's your daddy, she said, and before I knew where I was, I was involved in your fantasy. Listen, now look what you've done. What I've done? Jesus Christ. She has killed one child. Probably two. She even tried to kill me. It's all right, darling. It's all right. Oh, just go away, Simon. Don't get involved. You don't want to be caught with me when the police arrive, do you? Give me your car keys, Meg. Give me your car keys. Who were you calling? No one. Engaged. Who? Business. I still have a job to do at the moment. So when are the police coming? I told you, Meg, I don't know. I can't stand this. I'll do it. You're finished. You said she tried to kill you? She attacked me with a knife. Your, um, your father wants to, uh, wants to see you before the police are told. My father's coming here. Yeah, any minute. Here? Yeah. You bastard, why didn't you tell me? Because I knew you'd react like this. Well, I won't see him. <laughs> well, exactly. I'll phone the police myself. Oh, don't be a fool, Meg. I can't help you, but he might be able to. Why the hell don't you just go? Don't open it. Meg. Don't answer it. You want to destroy my political career, but you really want me to die of pneumonia? Uh, the police seem confident they'll pick her up shortly. Oh, you're in one piece. That's the main thing. Is it? Where's the baby? She's in there. Oh, we better get her to the hospital. She's perfectly well. She saw a doctor for a cold. See for yourself. Don't wake her, for God's sake. I don't know where the minister is. I'll certainly do that. Yeah, of course, ma'am. Hello, Mrs. Bartlett. Hello, Mark. Still telling lies. The prime minister doesn't want you to talk to the press. Did he say that? Murray. No, stop, Murray. Meg! The baby may look all right. The only danger she's in is from her mother. I found she had a previous child that died. Breathing problems. She tried to attack me with a knife. I'll get my things. The baby will have to go back to them. Did you hear what I said? Her first child died. You're not concerned about Eleanor. You're only concerned about your career. 
What have the Reardon said? We get Eleanor back or else it all comes out, the donation, I the I have nothing to do with that donation. You're lying. I have a copy of a conversation Ian Reardon had with him. I don't think that's true, Mrs Bartlett. I saw it. Is that better? Fortunately, I'm giving myself up to the police, not you. <laughs> the police won't listen to you. Well, of course, because you have them in your position. Don't be such a bloody you? fool! All right, I, I want to keep my job, but I do care about you. Now, I warned you what would happen before You the knew last... what would happen because you'd done a deal with them. Do you want to go to prison? He's got it you too, hasn't he? Meg, I love you, whatever you've done. But I really think you ought to listen. Now you tell her, Mark. The Reardon's made no mention of an attack on you, Mrs. Bartlett. Quite the reverse. I attacked them? But that's absurd. You don't believe that, surely? What we believe doesn't matter. Yes, of course it does! What matters is what you can actually prove. She concealed the birth of her first child. I saw pictures. He died at Eleanor's age. Do you have these pictures, Meg? Yeah, look, I'm sorry, sir. I haven't managed to locate the minister. He went to a police meeting in... Yes. If I can. The Prime Minister wants you to call him at 8 o'clock tomorrow. Right. The Reardons will drop the charges. In return for what? You stop pursuing these accusations against Christine Reardon. No. Oh, what? She gets Eleanor back and... This is to get you off the hook, isn't it? To keep you out of prison. Oh, you will never beat your father, my mother said, and she seemed proud of it, even though she knew what a liar and a cheat you are. Well, I will not keep my mouth shut, even if they do. All right, you go your own way. You just go ahead. I've done everything I can for you. Call the chief constable. My prints are on the knife. I picked it up when I fed the dog. Meg, you kidnap the child, you break into the house. They'll say you'll stop at nothing just to keep the baby. Look, you may be right about Christine Reardon. You don't think I am, do you? Well, do you have any evidence about this first child? Do you have a, a, a birth certificate, a death certificate? I mean, where he's buried? Unless you can get proof. I can get proof. How? something Christine's mother said. I think the baby is buried on the farm. Oh, God. All right. Will you drop the case? Yes, I will, on one condition. I stay here tonight with Simon and Eleanor. Can I trust you, Meg? Never been my problem, Dad. Signal. She's safe. She will return tomorrow. Oh, God. She goes to the police now, Minister. We might make one or two late additions. Whereas in the morning, we'd get the Sundays. Yeah, you could go in with Mrs. Bartlett to the police station with the baby. If the media happened to be there, you're reunited with your daughter, the baby's safe. It could all come out spontaneously. Just before you phone the Prime Minister.
you should take some sleeping pills. Put your hand in that. After I lost it today, you were wonderful. Thank you. been on the other side of the fence so many times just organizing with police to take somebody else's child and I've never known how those mothers felt Meg you're not her mother when the police come I won't let her go unless she's safe you must there's no alternative There's a path her mother went down. She took flowers. I think that's where the first child is buried. You told your father you dropped the case. You could go down there, Simon. I'll, I'll tell the police your suspicions. I'll get them to pursue it. It'll be too late. I should have run off with her. I nearly did. I can't let her go, Simon, unless I know she's safe. There's nothing more you can do, darling. You have to let the law take its course.
This is Taylor with Ben Simon. When you even make it to the motorway. Sorry, darling, I should have left you. This is the last place on earth I want to take you, but I'm going to have to go and find that grave. Where your mum wanders off to, isn't it? With her flowers. Is that where you buried him? How did you square the doctor? Did you let him shag you? No, it wasn't a doctor. Paul's father was a, a traveller. We. We, could, we couldn't get, we didn't, we didn't want doctors. You would have never registered. This is what you were afraid of, were you? And just of what she'd make of it. You could have helped me, Ian. For Eleanor's sake, they'll take her away from us. I don't know where it is. You must know. I haven't been there since that night. Look at this. I tried to bring him round and everything I could. You've seen me, Ian. Let's just get on with it. Give her to me! Give me my baby!
your daddy. I wasn't seeing things in the hospital that morning when you picked her up, was I? You're mad. The court decided that. It was after you held her that she had the attack, wasn't it, Christine? Don't listen to her, Ian. She's trying to come between us. He loves me, don't you, Ian? If you're innocent, why are you trying to get rid of the evidence? Because you'll invent things! I can't invent things that aren't there. The police know about this. They know where I am. You're lying. My husband will have told them. Christine, you came to me for help. <laughs> you see? You see how she makes things up? I came to you for help. No one can help you if you don't face things. Tell me about how David died. Tell me about when Angela tried to stop you. There was an inquiry. He had asthma. That's why he died. Is it? Yes! And your son, Paul? You ever think about what happened to him? Of course, of course I do. Do you think I think of anything else Just coming leave here? leave her alone, for God's sake. Look at Eleanor. Look at her, Christine. Look at her. Don't look at me. Look at her. I know you love her. I do. I do. That's why you're not going to get her. I won't get her. Ian should look after her. If anyone will listen to me. Ian. Ian, don't take her away from me, please, Ian. Do you want what happened to Paul to happen to her? He tried to talk to me about it, didn't you? A long time ago, when you asked me whether Sophie had been baptised, did you feel you could talk to me because I'd just lost a baby too? You wanted to talk about that night, didn't you? Come on, Christine, what happened? Tell me. Come on, tell me. He had such a lovely smile. I don't know what it is. What happens? I, I, I woke up. And... I held him to me as I've held him before. It's as if I have to, I must. And his heart beat faster and faster, and it, his breathing was like, like a bird I caught as a child, its wings beating against my hands, and I stopped them, I crushed them. But when I opened my hands, it flew. I held him. Help pulled to me. It's as if I wanted him back inside me. I tried to bring him back to life, but he was gone. Still. And cold. So cold. She's safe now. Eleanor's safe now. I won't see her again, will I? It depends on you. You've done the hardest thing. And the police and the courts. They'll take it into account, Christine. You don't know what it feels like to lose your baby. <laughs> 